Hello everyone, welcome back to Night Ghost 49 as we play Banish the Colonial Charter here in, uh, in the crazy 1.6 mod. Let's go and check out this trade ship real quick. Ooh, iron ore and logs. Yes, please. All right, I, well, not, we need two sixes there. I think I'm going to go ahead and set up some automated purchases for this. Uh, let's see. I think it's time. I really do. I think it's time that we kind of up our game. Um, I don't want to mess with. I don't want to mess with uh, rebuilding the castle yet until we get a ton of stone, which I'm going to try and alleviate right now. Okay, four thousand is going to bankrupt us, so let's not do that. Um, I guess we could just buy iron outright, which we normally do anyway. I'm not going to start buying clothes yet, just FYI. And materials is a little too generic. Gen generic <laughs> generic for me to just set that up so I'm gonna leave that here um, I think the production for this is just fine I think I'll leave this alone for now too and I think what we need is two more people here at the trade area yeah let's do two and two for people building and whatnot okay the schools looking good we are we're currently not maxed out which is nice we're getting laborers in that have been educated let's go ahead and take a look at the production um, food we are out producing on food. Good. Tools, we're out producing on tools. Fuel, we're right in the middle. Um, so not so great. And logs, we're not doing too hot either. But we did some building. I think that's a little bit skewed. But what I mean is, I would like to start getting on supplies. Like building supplies and things like that. But I want to get the industries back up and going that we had turned off before. So currently right now, we have squash... Let's check on food since we just got a trader. We've got squash, coffee. I need to figure out coffee. And then we've got a bunch of animals. So we really do need to get some crops coming in here too. But something that we could plant and uh, have it grow pretty quickly. Chilies would be good. Pumpkins would be really good. Pumpkins and turnips. What can we do for the 800 fuel? Which, that this is part of what's hurting us. I'm actually using fuel as the currency. And in this mod pack, it's kind of difficult to keep that up and going. So... You know what, let's do turnips. And the reason that is, this costs about a thousand more. So I want to hold off on that. And overpaying by 20. I'm fine with that. There we go. We're not going to dismiss them. We're going to let them sit there for a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this back on the tailor. There we go. We'll get some leather going. Let's check on our supply of leather. We're at 486. Okay, good. Our people are going to start getting coats. Winter's just hitting. So it's going to be a very good timing for that as well. Glass works um, on making glass. And then we also have the pottery, the potter. Um, I want to amp up the potter and the and the uh, furniture maker because those are some really good, some really good supplies that we're going to need to sell. So I do want to start this back again. How are we doing on sand? Oh gosh, one thousand. All right, let's go ahead and turn that back on so that starts rocking and rolling. So good, we've got a little bit of industry going on right now. Um, the pottery is doing well, we only have one. And I already upped it the two people being there so it's kind of working at peak efficiency. I thought I had some furniture guys, some jointers, I do. Where did I put those little yahoos? Oh, that's a barn. Which I wonder if we're actually starting to get close to max out on stored food because we don't have the, uh, the castle. Oh snap. Two people just died, and they got—they pulled my laborers immediately. All right, where did we put it? I, I kind of forget. Oh, our bison are growing. That's nice. Oh no, a pasture has been infected. The bison that I was just looking at. So here's how you deal with it: bison, um, bison, and we'll, we will empty this and stop working it. So the moment you empty it, it goes away, and they come over here. We'll swap it back here in a minute because I like them being in the bigger pen. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. And then another trader has arrived. They, they come very, very quickly, which is nice. So they don't have anything we need. I'm just going to leave it alone. Normally I'd buy some steel tools and whatnot, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Where's my jointer, my uh, furniture maker? I could have sworn I saw it a second ago. I think what you can do is go in here and go to production. Oh, but I don't have... I don't have that. Never mind. Oh, and let's look at the overview. We always look at the overview, right? 119 citizens. 93 of those are adults. Which is fantastic. Um, let's see if we can track them down this way. Oh, here we go. They're right next door. 
There we go. Okay. So we are trying to get uh, people to grow and have more kids and whatnot. We're doing great on food. Uh, we've got the coffee orchard here, which is going to take a while to grow up. And plus, I don't even know how to actually use that yet. So that kind of... We'll have to experiment there. But what I was wanting to do is get into building supplies. So if we go here, we go to... Um, building supplier. I don't think I've built one of these yet. So let's go ahead and just build one. Take some lumber. Take some logs and lumber. Interesting. And some stone, which we have plenty of. It looks like we're, we're kind of hurting on furnace fuel. Part of that's probably because we, we started doing the sand here. Let's see how we're doing on furnace fuel. Yeah, we're pretty much not where we need to be. I think what we're going to do is, um, I think instead of having because I've just got the fall, the small fuel refinery. I think I'm gonna make a big one. Which there you go. There's the big guy right there. It's gonna take 45 and 40. So 45, <clears throat> 45 logs, and uh, 40 stone. I want to, I want to get things away from here in case fires break out again. I'm like super paranoid. So why don't we just build this right out here? Yeah, let's do that right here, right by the foundry. See, this is getting full too. Interesting. All right, so we'll let that build. Man, people are just dying left and right. Of old age, thankfully. I mean, and health is looking good. If you look at it, we're at four and a half hearts, so we're doing really well. Um, everybody was replaced, but we don't have any laborers or builders, which is a bad situation to be in. I don't want to pull anybody off of logs, so I think I'm going to pull like a couple people off of the gatherer's hut. Look, another person died. And two more people off of the hunting cabins. Because these farms are producing way more than what we're putting in there. The gatherer's hut is kind of, you know, you could argue that easily. That the gatherer's hut's more efficient, but I don't think so at this point. <clears throat> I'm about a video behind you guys in regards to seeing your comments. So I, I did see that some people were kind of laughing at me saying, Nikos, it's really funny when you freak out. When we had the fire and I kind of lost my crap, um, everybody thought that was pretty hilarious. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the way it is. Like, you freak out, right? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that... I, I was just like, I had a loss of what I should have been doing. It was, it was kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, that kind of made me chuckle when you guys were like, what are you doing? Anyway, so this was fully stocked. We just need to get it built. See, furnace fuel. Uh, furnace fuel for the clay. Yeah. Long story short, we need a lot of furnace fuel. We'll make sure that this uses coal as well. So that we can use the right resource that we're working on now. This guy's about to stop here. Let's see what he's selling. Selling llamas. I don't think we need new llamas. They've got 7 out of 12. We could get this going a little quicker. So why don't we see... How much is a couple of those going to give us? Trade in distance 600. Can I do that? Yeah, there we go. Let's get a couple more llamas. We don't need all of them. Just a couple more. All right, so what else did we build? It says that I need seven builders, and this currently takes three. What else did I build? This is paused. The, these bison, let's see, five. Um, I think I want to empty this. Not work this. Turn that on. The bison are going to come over here, and that one dude is going to actually work over here. There we go. I just want to switch them back over, personally. I think it's better to have them in the bigger area so they can grow a lot more. Alright, like I said, I don't really know what the heck, what other things I'm building right now. But, oh wait, no. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Building supplier. I want this finished off, too. So this is going to take joists, I think bricks, and something else for us to start making building supplies. But that's going to unlock a lot of different um, buildings, hardware, things like that. That's really going to help us out a lot to get us into the next tier. Sorry, I had to cough there and clear my throat. 20 logs, 1 joist, and 12 bricks make building supply. Okay. So, hmm. It's going to be a bit of a problem because this foundry is set to just do furnace fuel, or excuse me, to do iron. 
And I'd rather not uh, mess with that because we need the iron output. We've got tons and tons of ingots, or not ingots, excuse me. We have a lot of ore, 284 ore. I guess that's not a ton, huh? Anyway, let's see if we can go ahead and build ourselves another foundry. What's that gonna take? Resources that we actually do have, so that's good, all right. Let's go ahead and put another one right there. We'll get that built too. Okay, fuel refinery is gonna be done here in a second. And we'll make sure we're set up for charcoal and get somebody working there. So let's go charcoal. And one person's already working it, but that's because he moved over from this small refinery. I don't have any extra people. I'll go ahead and turn that off of work. This one will actually work. I think it's more efficient, but I could be a little off on that. You can use six people to build a foundry. I mean, that's some of the subtle things that this mod pack does change is the amount of people you can actually put against the task to increase um, getting it out a lot quicker. So that's kind of cool. Now, since it is winter, the farmers aren't actually working these fields. Let's see, 600. Not the most efficient to be completely honest, but meh, meh. I feel like we're a little low on food now though. Yeah, food production, I mean, it's still more than what we had before, but up to 9,000. Let's check our graph. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I, I looked at that thinking that we had more. But no, we're doing quite well. So, oh, somebody did die. Then everybody was replaced, and then we just got another labor. Fantastic. We need houses, dang it. We need more houses. So, finish this up so we can make some houses. Since we're doing so well on food, we want to get that going. So, if we look at the houses, like these take... Building supply and furnitures and uh, furnishings or something. Which I don't have ready. Homeware supplies. Homeware supplier is a craftsperson who, who compiles the necessary resources for homes into transportable packages. Vital function when building higher quality homes. Maybe we don't go into that yet. Er, grr. I was hoping that a lot of our industry would be a little bit better shape. At this point, I think I need to build another furniture spot and another pottery barn, uh, pottery barn, to uh, to out produce to produce even more stuff. We have 2,500 clay. That's amazing. We're we're doing good there. The furnace fuel is still really low, and a lot of industries still are, are struggling to make sure they get enough fuel. So look at that. The uh, iron ore is not getting finished there. They are maxed out now at the 150 uh, limit for tools, which is good. So Actually, that's not going to help anything when it comes to the furnace fuel um, supply line. So, never mind. All right. I, oh, my gosh. We need more people. We just need a lot more people. So, why don't I... I can't pull any more people out of the foresters. <clears throat> They're kind of doing their job quite well. Let's go ahead and take two more people off of these. Stone, I would like to leave alone. But iron, maybe we've got plenty of ore for now. So let's pull a third person off of that. All right, so let's keep two people building at all times. We need to start building houses, like, really quickly. And it might be advantageous for us to actually expand out one direction or another to uh, continue to build these kind of areas where we can actually expand and grow. Now, south is appealing because we just haven't, we don't have anything over here yet. So why don't I go ahead and let's do a drawbridge over here why can I build a drawbridge in the middle of a field that's odd and I don't like it all right 85 logs right there that's gonna hit us a little hard but um, we just need people to run these llamas whatever we're not gonna do that um, what do we need I'm gonna put extra people in with the logs because we're kind of hurting for that how are we doing on furnace fuel? Apparently not good, because we've got these bad boys in here, too. We've got 16, but there's just not enough around. See, it's immediately used to uh, kind of finish that off. So this is being finished off, to the foundry. We're going to start making joists. But I think we need to fix the uh, the supply line here with furnace fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this smelter's not working. Let's check out these traders. That, that one we know is Llamas, but the other one... 
rough tools, clay, we don't need clay. Um, we don't really need iron tools as much as we do other things, so I'm just going to go ahead and dismiss these two guys. All right, so the small fuel refinery, I think what we can do, instead of putting another person there, let's put another person here. So the bigger one actually has two people working it right now, which is good. Okay, so this bridge is going to be finished here soon. That actually got supplied very quickly. Let's go ahead and put in some town abodes just right here on the edge. We'll do two of those. Okay, this is finished. Um, really supplying two of these? I feel like that's not the best idea. So I'm going to go ahead and just disable that. That way that one will work, and then the other one will work over here. These two smelters will work and do their job. They're pretty efficient for those little guys, so I'm going to leave them alone. All right, and are we close to getting done here? Wow, yes, we are very close to getting done. I wish we had animations in the game, because this drawbridge actually doesn't move. I just put it in for aesthetics. Excuse me, it's a little late tonight. I'm still packing for the move. So my apologies for the yawn there. Okay, let's see, are we are we gonna produce? Okay, we're producing a lot more furnace fuel, Never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, let's do this. But we're doing really well. Okay, we've got two houses that are gonna be built down here. I wanna start building houses closer to where I expand. Um, I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't remember to do and that's build out where you're actually going to expand first and get some homes out there. Because if people don't live out there, they're not going to be able to work out there. So I build um, stockpiles and homes and things like that right, right near where I want to actually expand and grow. So like right here, this one's done. We can go ahead and build a road just straight into here. Then I'll probably put a small market. Um, actually, I'll, I'll probably branch off now that I think about it. Let's move this over. There we go, and I'll build one like right over here, and that way the big area will be able to be used uh, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and make a general stockpile right there. Uh, we'll do a small barn again like we did before in some of these other areas. So that one is done. Look at that, they're in their 30s and 20s. I really want that to be better. Dang it. Um, so what I'll probably do is let these finish, and then we'll collect some of these resources so that we can use the stuff that we picked up here to uh, actually build off a couple homes. I think we'll do two homes first off, and then we'll do a marketplace, and then we'll, we can expand this whole area, which will be good. I want to get into the actual building supplies, but uh, we don't have enough people, period. That's what it comes down to. We don't have enough people. We're producing quite a bit of food now because we did get some things from the, uh, from the trader. Yeah, food's looking good. About 2,000 more being produced every year than what we need. Um, tools are looking good too. Logs are being used really, really quickly. We're, we're kind of hitting a deficit there. Where we're, we're only producing 550 and we use 850. So we're going to need to alleviate that very quickly. All right, now remember the farmers in the winter are actually laborers, so we can go ahead and queue this up to be finished. They've already cleared off the stockpile, so we'll do that too. And then at this point, honestly, we can we can clear out some of these trees and help us out with the uh, the log situation. We keep just having people dying and then becoming laborers, dying laborers. But as you can see at the top, oh my gosh, at the top we've only got 10 kids and 16 in school. So that's really indicative of the fact that we have to, uh, we got to get ahead of that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really feeling under the weather, but uh, I know some people around me have been quite ill. My, my little one has been very sick, so hopefully I'm not catching what she had, because it's pretty bad. What do you miss? A furnace fuel, seriously? We're making a ton of furnace fuel, though. I think we'll actually have some in inventory. <laughs> no, no, we won't. Just kidding. All right, fine. There we go. We'll turn this bad boy on too. So we've got the little one and the big one running all at the same time. Let's just see how that rolls. It's going to pull uh, charcoal, but I think we'll be okay. Now we do have two. Want to do of one barn? No, one barn. Never mind. I thought I had two homes uh, ready to build. I do not. All right, let's see what they're trading. Potato seeds would be good. That'd be a really good source of food. Um, let's see what we can do with our brick. 1200. What's 120 of this going to do? Oh, 
potato seeds are so expensive. Um, 400. I need a few more units. Thirty. We're paying by ten. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get those potato seeds in. There we go. Now we are going to take the coal quite a bit, but I, I think we'll be okay. Lumber, fancy stuff, coal, blah blah blah. Meh. We'll send these guys out of here. We'll send them back in. All right, we are we were able to catch up to the uh, cloth limit, the, the clothing limit of fifty, with this guy, which is very nice. We still have a ton of leather. Go ahead, and crank that up to one fifty, and see if that guy can just keep going. Having people clothed really does help. Um, they don't have to go back and forth as much to get warm. See, so having these two dudes here is good because they're going to be able to run back and forth and, and help. See, because one of them is a builder, and one's a farmer and a forester, which is kind of not good. That means, honestly, because of the fire, everything is all screwy. Like, look, look at how bad these are. We need to fix a lot of this stuff, too. I guess we could fix this and um, kind of a fix our problem of not having enough people at the same time too. I don't know. See, these should be looking okay. See, they're trading back and forth. None of them are going into town, right? Yeah, gatherer, hunter, and then also the forester right there. Perfect. Okay. So basically we just need more homes and we need them kind of everywhere. So building a home anywhere is really going to help. I'm going to leave that alone for a second. Let's go ahead and address the issue up here of just not having any people close. Put down two houses. We've got 200 stones, so we can build a couple of those. And just keep going on it. What do, oh, I turned that off. This one I want to do joists. And I'm going to put that to one. I won't employ anybody yet because, oh, it takes coal. All right, which means we need a different mine. So this is a deep mine, and this one is not yet a deep mine. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm remembering that now. Candles, we've only got 32. We really need to have uh, 70 to do that. We don't have a ton of beeswax, which is what we were doing to uh, make candles. So I'm tempted. I'm tempted to turn that back on again, but that's not a lot. That's really not a lot of uh, beeswax stuff. Because we have how many apiaries? We just have the one. Honestly, having another apiary would be really good for food. They produce way more now than I ever thought they would. So, let's put another home out here, too. They are going to be working on the two that I put out in this area. Here we go. Because they're taking four builders a piece to finish those off. How are we doing on all of our um, animals? So, beef cows, they're not going to produce anything yet until they max out. We can... Uh, slaughter them, unfortunately. And then we have our bison, which are going to be the same situation. We also have deer, which it looks like we are starting to bring in some leather and venison and some bone meal. That's good. <laughs> leather, venison, bone meal, oh my. We have the llama, which are constantly giving us wool, but they're also starting to make some food for us as well. And then we have, oh, the piggy pigs. They're about at the point where we're going to start getting leather and food off of them, too. So let's go ahead and check on the venison. Uh, 400s. Oh, we did build a, bu a butcher, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so we're making tallow, uh, venison cuts, and sausage, which reminds me, if we're doing tallow, we've got 395 tallow and 200 something beeswax. We can make candles out of tallow. So we can switch that to tallow, and once I turn that back on, it'll start utilizing that for the butcher as well. So, all right, we've got two two of these houses being built. We have another one being built down here right next to the barn so we can continue to expand oh excuse me oh oh now i see what's going on they're still clearing all this stuff but we're using it so quickly too so they were clearing a bunch of this that's why a lot of this stuff isn't being built yet anyway i'm gonna go ahead and drop out here i'm i'm slightly tired of my allergies are going crazy from all the packing the dust is real guys the dust is so real um this was a bit more of a chill episode which i guess was good i wanted to do some more aggressive expanding but um, not so much of the aggressive expanding going on. Mostly the, we need more houses, let's start making joists and stuff. But you know what, it's progress nonetheless. I think it's I think it's a good thing. So thanks everybody for joining. Continue to leave your comments, I do read them. I appreciate all the input, the feedback, um, the encouraging words and the tips. Those are really helpful. So uh, thank you for that. 
And yeah, when we come back, we will continue to expand and grow. And hopefully down south, we can build a marketplace, start doing some building supplies, and really crank up our industry. I want to do more clay. I want to do more pottery. I don't want to do more furniture. Start selling the crap out of those. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining. And I will see you guys next time. Later.